Hello and welcome back to Battletech. We are going to do some story today. Um, I don't know if we're in the right zone. This is a fresh recording session, so I'm always a little hazy on where we are. Uh, we're on Mechdur. Um, don't know if that's where we're... Oh, priority mission is here in Itram. Okay, we're at, and we're looking at three and a half stars. I imagine we're going to be looking at five stars when it comes to, like, the final mission. Um, so, all right. Contracts, let's do our priority mission. Uh, I wish, uh, I guess only three stars. I wish I had, um, I waited for my mechs to get repaired. I could have just, like, started traveling to the next zone. There's some, uh, there's, I mean, like, we're pretty well set up. I don't know if there's too much more I would need. I mean, the only thing I wouldn't mind having is, like, one more hundred ton mech and maybe some more, um, like, fairly exotic weaponry. Um, but, uh, that's not necessary. It's just kind of nice. Like, if I had a second gauze rifle or a second mech that had a gauze rifle or, you know, like, there's a, a lot of cool things we could do. All right, rumble seat. The Argos command deck begins shaking again. I can't stand this anymore, Samira says. This has been happening every two and a half hours like clockwork. It makes me want to break something. Every 2.4 hours to be precise, Dr. Murad's tone is infuriatingly reasonable, and only while the Argo is under thrust. Samira f flashes you an exasperated look. Why can't we get this fixed? After 17 seconds, the shaking stops right on schedule. 100,000 Argo structural reinforcement finally recalibrate the rotation controllers. Morale increased. Uh, I should probably stop throwing money at morale since we can't gain anymore. The morning briefing begins on a high note. Dr. Murad, I believe you finally have some good news for me. You, with grim satisfaction, she agrees. Yes, I've been waiting for the final structural reinforcement work to be done before re recalibrating the rotation controllers. With your go-ahead, I can take care of it today. 90 minutes later, Dr. Murad calls up from engineering. I've restarted the pod rotation controller, and that will quell the problem indefinitely. And there's no risk of damage, you ask her? No risk, she says. I finally feel like I'm getting to know this old bird, quirks and all. Okay. Um, nice. Speaking of which, we should do some ship upgrades. Um, you know, maybe the, a better drive system wouldn't be a terrible uh, thing. We could do the beta pod for instance, or even upgrade our repair and refit. I don't know if I really need to or want to uh, do like every single upgrade. Maybe the beta pod and some of the um, upgrades that rely on the beta pod, but like I don't know if I need a maximum drive capabilities. I really don't know if that's gonna do much for us. Increase our thrust while 2G is not comfortable. The crew, crew will complain, we'll cut our travel time significantly. I mean, I guess it would be nice. Reduced by 30%. I mean, it would, be, it would be nice, but it's quite expensive for something like that. So I really don't know. Um, we don't have to fully upgrade the Argo. I'm sure I get an achievement, but then again, I have miscalled those achievements before. Um, and as much as I like achievements, I don't necessarily have to go for them. I might do it in my own time. It doesn't need to be in a series. We've arrived at Itram, Commander. Ready to proceed with our current contract? Yes. Let's do it. Oh, uh, wow, we're, we're really just jumping in. What's wrong with the Battlemaster? I'm gonna have to take a quick look at that. Why is the Battlemaster not okay? Oh, is it not repaired? I thought it, I thought I repaired it. Why didn't I repair it? Okay. Now it's repaired. Um, let's have a quick look at it. It seems to be good. Um, th I think we will take the battle map. I guess we have a, a gauze rifle. I would like to... I don't know. Maybe the king crab is honestly the one that feels like the weak link right now. TBH. <clears throat> Annihilator did well. In that last mission, I, I am appreciating the Annihilator. Um, the Awesome is doing well. Uh, I, could it do better? Maybe. Uh, maybe if I was going to swap... Like, it's it's our only other... Oh, it's 80 tons. I guess if I was going to pick, I might do... Let's do, like, Annihilator, King, Crab, Highlander. 
battle master seems like a good setup liberation itrum yeah let's swap out maybe the awesome i mean it's quite nice but i wouldn't mind having another long range for for this mission let's uh swap in the highlander With the gauze rifle, I mean, it's it's quite good. Um, who could who stands a better? I, I, I think that um, <clears throat> someone ought to be. I guess a glitch in the annihilator is actually quite good because that guts means that the recoil isn't as bad. Might be one of the reasons that the auto cannons aren't having such a hard time with the um, with recoil. So I, I just kind of lucked out there and put the right pilot in the right mech. Um, <clears throat> the Stecker and the battle master i think i don't know if it offers much of a benefit um i would probably be better off putting someone with higher guts in there because that helps with cooldown um but you know you can't have everything mandrake is, doesn't have the guts he's got tactician and I, i'm pretty happy with this setup in terms of our our uh weaponry so let's go ahead and do this all right we have to take advantage of itrum sensor interference to approach directorate units unseen eliminate directorate mechs to secure resource storage silos act quickly to prevent the directorate from sabotaging the silos i should read read these more often um i do vaguely remember what we are doing here uh we're, we're like deep in enemy lines Welcome to the badlands of Vitrum, commander the sands of this desert are rich in exotic elements that play havoc with electronic sensors and communications Without the use of house Gallus signal boosting equipment. You wouldn't even be receiving this message the badlands are a gold mine of rare earth metals and uh, fizzle fizzle materials Fissile the Directorate has seized control of House Gallus's largest uh, processor and refinery, and they're getting ready to move a year's supply of exotic materials off-world. I need you to capture at least one of those silos for the restoration. <clears throat> Sorry. Choose your target, engage its defenders, and destroy them. Our recovery team will take care of the rest. You'll need to act quickly, though. The Directorate will wire the silos to self-destruct, if you give them a chance. The same radiation that's garbling the Directorate's long-range communications will render their sensors useless. You can detect them, uh, but they won't even know you're there until you enter their direct line of sight. The silos won't be able to communicate with one another. Because of this, I advise you to engage the silos one at a time. Choose a target and clear it of defenders before moving on to the next. If you're careful, you'll be able to hit all three silos one after the other, and the Directorate's troops will be none the wiser. While capturing one working silo is your primary objective, we can always use more. The Restoration will pay an additional bounty for each silo you capture beyond the first. Hmm. hunting, Commander. Okay, good to know. You know I'm always looking for a payday. I would love to do this well. Or just, I mean, it's going to take a while to sprint in. Our mechs are not super uh, quick. I guess maybe one of the reasons the Battlemaster is even as quick as it is is because it's got Decker in it and he's a scout. So he might actually be increasing the speed of the mech. Moving to position. Uh, I'm not seeing anything yet. This is a whirlwind. Uh, provide cover damage reduction against ranged attacks. Yeah, I want to. I do want to be careful. Enemy contact. So that is a forty ton. Nothing to be afraid of. I wonder. I haven't. We haven't gotten a cool theme song. The likes of which that uh, that moon mission near the beginning had. That was one of the coolest like battle music themes I've heard in a game. 
maybe ever. I liked it so much, and I, I feel like a lot of the follow-up soundtrack has, has been kind of a letdown. Okay, um... We're just going to move up and sensor lock. You're getting close, Commander. Be careful with your positioning. If they pick up a visual on you, they'll go on high alert, sensors or no sensors. We got a cicada. Um Okay, I'm not sure how one is go meant to do this carefully. This is the Annihilator, so they can't really do anything right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and move them. I want to keep... I'm going to keep behind this mountain. Silo Charlie is under alert. Take take it quickly before they have time to destroy it. I have a funny feeling I'm going to have to repeat this mission. I guess I can only... Can I do a jump further? No, the jump is kind of a joke on uh, the crab. So we'll have to hit the cicada. Yeah, I'm going for the head, I know. Yep. Yep. Just do a basic fire. I'm sure they're like their version of blowing up the building is going to be to shoot it. Very, uh, you know, unceremoniously. Let's get the Highlander to take out the Cicada and then maybe we can do something more interesting with the other mechs. I think we hit the leg. Unsteady. <sighs> really blows my mind sometimes how we don't knock some of these mechs over sometimes. Um, all right, Shadowhawk. Nothing too spicy here. Um, can we only hit it with the LRM right now? What? What? We don't have a line of sight on it. Well, that really sucks. I. I yeah, I mean, like, that really sucks. I'm just gonna do a brace. I don't, like, I maybe it's worth doing a, a, a hit, but I don't, I don't see how. And the Annihilator is not in a good position, so this isn't good. Uh, my positioning is awful right now. I'll just have to try and move as close to, as I can to something I can hit. And wow, yeah, the Battlemaster can't hit. I, I've I've completely botched this. Completely and utterly botched this. Three rounds remain. I guess we have to just kill everything in three rounds. They're like backing up and stuff, which is really annoying. Okay, let's first of all take out the Cicada. Actually, we, oh, we can't do a split shot. I keep thinking we can because I have most of my units have split shot. Um, we're not doing very much damage with the Coil M. I don't think that the Coil M is worth it. I should take it off and put another like medium laser on it instead. Let's see if we can't. Oh, wow. Cicada is like almost completely destroyed. There we go. Mech destroyed. Okay, we should be able to hit with everything in the uh, the the annihilator. Don't need to tell me twice. This thing has no damage reduction, and so we should just like punch it somewhere with some ammo. Yeah, let's punch it something with some ammo. There we go. Okay, we are 
sort of recovering this. If I can kill them both in the next two rounds, then that should be okay. I am going to use up the rest of my... Yeah, let's just try and take them out here. Cool. So there's only... Um, I think it's like a 40 ton. Nothing too spicy left. 35. Nothing, nothing to worry about, honestly. I'm um, thinking let's just try and take out that SRM carrier. I guess we can't hit it. So we may as well try and shoot this 35 then. If we can hit it with the gauze, we should always try and shoot with the gauze. We did hit it. That was a, that was a good hit. Those were good hits. SRM carrier is going to shoot some missiles at our Battlemaster. That sucks, actually. Wow! Holy crap! How many rockets does it have? I'm under heavy fire. Remember, we got to take two more of these, and they could have progressively more difficult, you know, stuff. Okay, let's uh, use the coil M on this thing, maybe. Because we're going to do 75 damage with it. We'll take off some... Um, See, this, the, the coil M just straight up isn't worth it, in my opinion. Because every time I turn it on, this thing generates 40 heat, which is as much as three plus medium lasers. The medium lasers are plus, 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 you know, all over the place. Why would I ever want the coil M? It, it needs to be put in like a scout that can travel like a ridiculous amount of distance in one turn. And then it, uh, and then it's fine. I'm gonna just hit this thing with lasers. It shouldn't be able to take all of them. There we go. I was a little worried there that I that was a bad call, but I'm 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 glad it wasn't. Uh, I am just gonna hit this thing with everything here. In fact, let's do a precision shot. Yeah, we'll hit it in the leg. Why not? Um, we are overheating. Let's go ahead and take one large laser off. We will recover our heat between this and the next battle, so I'm not too worried about heat right now. We knocked it over. This is good because basically the Annihilator is going to get a free shot on it. We'll take off the UAC. Not just because it's we don't have a, a good chance of hitting with it, but also because we want to conserve our ammo. There we go. Explosive defusal is a go, Commander Beard. Perfect. No, 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 no. We're gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna go for it. Got it. This is ice. Roger. Enemy contact. Where? Oh, I see. Over there. Um, we could try something long range, but I don't want to do that. I, like, I really don't want to hit it until we're closer to it. Um, let's go ahead and brace. What do you need? I'm Batman. I need Batman. Did I not sprint? Are we t currently in combat? Um, we're just going to have him brace. Hopefully they're not on alert just yet. Good. It doesn't look like they are. I don't see a countdown. Ready for orders. Waiting for orders. <laughs> Sorry, I just Medusa bugs me. Give me one second here. All right. Um. So, I mean, I hear we're just gonna try and group up here. It seems like they can't see us here. Oh, I meant to do a dash. Whatever. Yes, Commander. Continue bracing. I don't want to risk like getting closer and then they go on alert. Okay. Um. Let's just like move as far forward as we can with our mech in the back. Not really sure how we're gonna approach this one. 
actually if we can get onto this like plateau here with someone i guess the highlander and he's like the only one that can jump i guess the crab can also jump i guess he can also move on to this so that's not bad um let's have decker come forward and um do a sensor lock i've got a sensor lock trebuchet so we should be able to hit it now can we jump oh we can't jump up that plateau yet okay well we'll move forward and then do just like a basic shot Has detected you move fast, Commander. You have a limited time before they destroy the silo. How many turns? Five rounds should be good. We have full morale, so let's go ahead and take some shots. We've got a pretty good chance of hitting the head. Uh, may as well. I think from these long range ones, the best thing you can do is probably shoot at the head. Because, like, either way, you're going to hit the torso, you know? So we're just going to sprint forward with the Annihilator since they need to be, pr you know, pretty close to actually do anything. Bah, bah, bah. We got a 20 ton. We're going to want to destroy that thing post haste. Um, who should do a sensor lock on them? Probably the Annihilator. Although we can actually shoot something from here. There we go. This is perfect. So we'll, uh... Go up this hill and take a shot. Coordinates received. Take a shot every time I say take a shot. You will die. Don't do that. Okay, these are amazing. Uh, amazing chances here. We could go for the head. Or we could go for the arm. Um, they got LRMs. Where's the LRM ammo? Looks like it's spread out. So let's go ahead and... I'm just going to go for the head. Why not? This should be good. Ready for we're going to... No matter what, we're going to hit something good, you know? So uh, we can't hit anything with the Battlemaster right now. So we're going to sprint forward. Full speed. No target. The crab can hit some stuff. Can we do a jump? We can't really do a jump. So we're just going to do a move and uh lob some more stuff at the actually if i can no, i can't hit that vehicle i don't like the the after that last vehicle threw like a bazillion rockets at me i'm a little bit wary that uh right shoulder is looking pretty weak let's go ahead and hit it i think this is like my preferred method now um is i like to just kind of take some basic shots and then once something once a, a target looks weakened um take my opportunities All weapons, fire. nice well i knocked it over it's gonna get to do something whoa did we knock off two pieces or is that just the arm yeah he's gonna get gonna be able to get up before we can do anything whatever he moved up on us one shot with the medium laser that he has left and he missed with it an lrm carrier oh no okay well he did shoot on the only mech well one of two mechs that had some evasion built up so a lot of those missed we have a little locust the locust is going to be kind of a pain in the butt to hit i won't lie uh trebuchet shot again i guess it's a new round Um, all right, let's see if we can't take something take that trebuchet out with the auto cannons. We could do a multi-hit you, uh, you know me I like to do my multi-hits And uh, Can we we can't hit that is that a rock? No, that's the LRM carrier <laughs> Hard to tell sometimes, you know Okay, this is this this works for me. Um, so we're gonna throw We're gonna take off the UAC And we'll throw um, 
<clears throat> AC 10 at B and then do AC 10 and 5 on tre Trebuchet. Line them up and I'll shoot them down, Commander. Well, that was not great. And that was not great. But the evasion was, was pretty nasty on that locust. Now the crab um, should be able to do some pretty good stuff with a multi-hit here. And we can also potentially hit that carrier. But I guess um, we can only hit the trebuchet with our lasers. And then we're lobbing rockets at uh, at the locust. We may as well throw them at the uh, carrier. There we go. Trebuchet dead. We've got three rounds left. This is fine. Um, who's left? The Highlander. So our long range and our short range. Yeah, I mean, let's let's try and take out this carrier. I really don't want that thing to fire again. Um. We don't need to hit it with everything. I really don't think it's, uh, it's got that kind of armor. Oh, that didn't do it. Shoot. Well, we've got a multi-hit. Let's do another jump. Oh, of course, we're actually in the ideal environment here. So let's go ahead. I guess we can only throw our LRMs. Shoot. Okay, we do want to do a jump. We can jump like here that will provide the like good amount of distance and this is actually perfect because we can shoot the locust with the gauze and then throw over our lrms i i'm only gonna throw the 20 at the uh, carrier i really don't think it needs more than that yeah it, the first rocket took it out oh nice So there's still one more uh, fairly heavy mech over here, a 50 ton. Oh, it's uh, running away like, oh, look at that evasion. That sucks. That looks like a large laser. Systems holding. Let's get uh, Decker in the medium range to try and hit that thing. Why can't we... We'll be able to see it, but not hit it. Honestly, I just kind of want to sprint over and try and get a sight on it Roger. this is a centurion it's been a while since i've seen one of those Receiving you. okay we've got sort of a line of sight with the gauze rifle that's a pretty good line of sight we want to we want to start hitting the centurion we only have an 18 percent chance of hitting the torso so we probably want to go for the left torso yeah, left torso is pretty good. It's got that ammo. I was really hoping it would uh, we'd be able to knock it over, but can't have it all. Um, we can hit it with the UAC though. I think I hit it the leg, so we could like hit the leg. Could go for that shoulder. Um, kind of just want to go for the shoulder. Done. Done and dusted. Gotcha. Perfect. All right. So now we just need to take out little Zippy here. Warning of overheat. That's fine. We'll take off a large laser. If I can try and do a, like a melee hit on it, that'd be great. But we need to... Oh, we did get one hit off here. There's a... Actually, not a terrible chance of killing it there, but we didn't. Time is almost up. Either defeat those guards or get your forces clear. But yeah, we we need everyone to take out this little zippy brat here. I'm pretty sure the crab can do a melee hit from there. I'm gonna try. Yes, we can. I have a 70% chance of hitting it. If I actually succeed in this, it's gonna stomp the ever-living crap out of this locust. We missed. 
Jesus. Okay, we just need to we need to hit it with anything here. Come on. Okay, we did it. Woo. They're securing the structure. Cool. Okay, that's two of three. We just need to take a take that last silo. And then we're good. There's the evac. We don't want to go to the evac. We want to go to the, the last silo. Where is it? Wow, it's like really far away. Why is it so far away? <laughs> That's going to take me forever to get over there. Don't need to tell me twice. Radiation field. Oh, we don't want to walk into a radiation field. I'm also not sure of like what what of all of this can we traverse through. Oh, I just walked into a radiation field. Shoot. Heading out. Uh huh. Jesus, it's so far. I might do a pause here, um, because it, you know, I'm gonna be traveling for a while. Um, so why don't I go ahead and do that? Save us all some time and a heartache. Okay, I'm um, just about there. I've grouped up. We're pretty close outside. So I'm going to start. This is this is our engagement round. Uh, I'm going to get the scout to move up as close as possible so we can... Uh, I guess he's not going to be able to get a sight on anything. So he's just going to want to move up and we're going to want to do a sensor lock. Honestly, like if we could... Position confirmed get a sensor lock on something and attack it let's do that vehicle i'm sick of these vehicles getting like a free pass you know um let's get the long range highlander to lob some stuff at it oh shoot okay Oh, yeah? Did I not shoot with everything there? Oh, that I, I ran out of ammo there. That was really bad. I thought it was good for ammo. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to hit with anything with any other mech this round um oh okay the 60 ton is making its way over here it can't see us though there's a 25 so it's gonna be like a locust or something yeah um can we jump up yeah we can jump up on this rock and start hitting some of this smaller stuff yeah we're out of uh, lrms on that so we only have the gauze rifle we can hit the blackjack. Uh, we only have an 18% chance of hitting its torso, so we might want to hit it in the leg or the arm. It's only a medium laser on that, but um, AC2, I honestly feel like it'd be better to hit the leg. Did we miss? Yo, we can't be afford to miss with our only weapon, my dude. Okay, Crab is, does not have a lot they can do right now. I do want to try and take out that carrier, so let's try and take that thing out. 95% chance of hitting it, so we should kill it. We did not kill it. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah, this is kind of a bummer. I'm not a huge fan of uh, the stuff that's happening right now. We we are not being able to hit with m basically anything right now. Yes, Commander. I mean, including but also especially our short range no mech. Get so this run. first round is almost a complete wash. Yeah, the short range. Oh, the short range missiles are not going to get to fire off. This is good. 
feel like the only thing I shot with ran out of ammo and the only other thing I shot with um missed like really really not not good guys good to go crab is still not in a good position i'm actually going to move these other mechs forward on, on the off chance it's just a lack of space right now there's another mech in the back there and a 55 ton, ton mech damn it oh god this is just like the worst We've got a commando. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take out that carrier for sure. But we're gonna hit this blackjack. And again, I'm just gonna shoot it in the leg. We did critically hit it, but nothing super good. Yeah, let's um come over here and we'll do a multi-hit. We should be able to take out that carrier with something. I think I can hit it with just about anything. I'm just going to dedicate... Uh, I'm going to take a chance and dedicate the 5 to it and everything else to the Griffin. You get a there we go. You get a nice. We almost knocked over the Griffin. Oh god, the crab is so slow. It's It's really a problem. I only have three rounds left two after this may as well try and hit it somewhere useful i mean we can knock it over but that's not going to mean anything because it's just going to get back up again i feel like oh wait okay never mind we we do have the gauze rifle left so we can potentially do something really good here I don't want to kill the leg because that's another easy knockdown for the next round. So let's try and hit that shoulder. The shoulder has the LRM. The arm has nothing. So it might be better to hit it in the other arm, actually. We only have a 30% chance. We did hit it pretty good. Blackjack is building up. Evasion, um, I'm not feeling good about our odds here. Oh, you uh, Medusa took a shot. I don't think it uh, exposed the... Like, I don't think the head took a hit, just the pilot. Which isn't good, but, you know. It's better than the alternative. Okay, we can finally get the crab up. Let's get the crab up and try and kill the, the griffin. Well, I mean, we hit it pretty good. It would have been nice to, like, kill it completely. But, um... Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if we can't take it out with the ACs. I'll do another multi-hit here. Um... We're gonna take off the UAC. We'll just dedicate, uh, I'll dedicate, you know, two things to it. And then we'll start shooting at something else here, like the commando. We'll hit the commando with like an AC-10. Got it. I didn't take it out. We managed to knock down the commando with the with the ten. Orders. Can't really hit anything special or you know great here, so I'm just gonna try and kill that um, commando. I'm gonna shoot it with everything. Locked on target. I really don't want to have to like do this again. There we go. I think that was the right call. Eliminated. Um, can we please take out that griffin? Or we still we still didn't kill it.
Oh god. Oh, it's going to be close. My internals are taking a beating. Okay, we're going to try and take it out with the AC UAC 10 and then we're going to lob everything else at um the blackjack. Uh-huh. Perfect. Good hits on the blackjack. We have to take out the blackjack this turn, like this round. We have no more room for error here. Um, I can try and blow off its leg and then everyone else gets precision shots, but I don't think it matters too much, to be honest. Um, honestly, I'm just going to go for the torso. Because we have enough morale that everyone else is going to get precision shots anyway, so I should just go for the kill. Nice! The gauze rifle really does does a good job. We've done it. Good work, Commander. Thanks to you, the Directorate has suffered a major setback, and we've gained a valuable new asset. Yeah, three cheers. If you'll excuse us, Lady Arena, we need to get these mechs hosed down and decontaminated. Come on, Commander. Yang's got a great big tub of boron, and he's just dying to use it. Commander, the area has been cleared. Darius has given me the green light to land immediately. Hold position. Mission successful. Nice. Well, not too spicy, honestly. Nothing too big. I think the biggest thing was like a centurion. I don't know how big this the trebuchet is compared to the centurion. Look at that payday. Look at that payday. 2.5 million. Not bad at all. And no one got seriously injured. The Battlemaster took a, you know, got exposed. Almost lost the arm. Must be said. Almost lost the arm. Uh, what was, what is the right arm? Medium laser plus plus. We would have lost a medium laser plus plus, but we didn't. We didn't even lose that. Uh, we get to take some stuff. What do we want? Let's see if there's any good ammo. Or, uh, sorry, um, uh, weapons. LRM 20s. That might be good. Uh, I mean, there are some decent SRM6s. Heat banks would be really nice. Mm. I kind of do want these LRM 20s. They would be nice. Plus five damage. I don't know if a plus five damage large laser is really going to do it for me. Let's take that. Take a large laser. I got the S. Is there only one? Oh, there's a couple of SRM6s. Uh, SRM6 plus pluses. Plus four damage and plus two, two stability damage will be nice. Um, extra crit would be nice. I'll, I'll settle for this. We got a Cicada and a Shadowhawk part. Not bad. We also got, I think, another SRM6++ for our trouble. And we got one LRM15, which is nice. Can always do with more of those. I haven't been able to get an, uh, an LRM20. And it would be nice to uh, start using, like, upping our, our output of rockets. I know uh, I've been talking about like, oh, well, um, you know, our long distance mech, we, we don't have to have like fully armored so we could put some more rockets on. Uh, it might make a difference if I could switch out LRM 15s and 10s for 15s and 20s. Um, and if it takes means we take a small armor hit, then uh, it might be worth doing that. Revelations in orbit. Lady Arano, almost two years of directorate imprisonment. I had nearly lost hope for myself, for Itram, for the entire Oregon Reach. I owe you my entire gratitude, all of you. Because of your actions, the directorate's hold on Itram has been broken, and my people have been saved. That's what we're here for, Lady Gallus. Um, yes it is, but their continued survival is anything but certain. I'm going to be honest with you, Lady Gallus. I had to wade through a sea of blood to reach Itrim. 
My army is war-weary and outgunned, and the Reach is on the verge of being overrun. So if you know anything that can help us, I need you to share it with me. Yes, Lady Arano, I can help you. I know where you can find what you'll need to break the Directorate's alliance with the Tor Torian Concordat. You need to travel to Goldra. Lady Lord Madeira's home system? That's right. If you search the Madeira archives, you'll find what you need. Over the past three years, Lord Ma our House Madeira has collected a treasure trove of incriminating evidence on House Espinosa, an insurance policy, so to speak. Find it and deliver it to Protector Calderon, and our Torian problems will be over. The archives are DNA locked to my family. If we're going to gain access to this insurance policy, I'll need to travel there myself. And hopefully not at the uh, head of an army. You'll, you've seen what war has done to Itram. I pray that Galdra can be spared the same fate. Alexander, I... A thunderous roar cuts La, Lady Gallus's sentence short, and the image of your on your view screen cuts to nothing. Lady Gallus? Samantha? Can you hear me? Holy shit. Lady Arano, sensors are picking up evidence of a massive fuel-air explosion in the capital. Castle Gallus is gone. Bastards must have planted a bomb before we drove them away. Damn it. Damn it to hell. Alexander, get emergency services to the capital. Medical teams, combat engineers, whoever you can find. We need to search the wreckage for survivors. I'll dispatch your forces right away, Kemia. But we... Then I must return home. I will travel with an appropriate bodyguard, but otherwise I need to go alone. Lady Gallus was right. We've lost too much already. I won't see the army move on Goldra. Not if I can do the job myself. Alexander, no, I, I won't allow it. I can't afford to lose you. Kamea, please. I am duty-bound to see this through. Goldra is a core system, a veritable fortress. If we attempt an invasion, there will be terrible losses on both sides. I won't allow that. Not if I can archive our goal another way, and I am confident that I can accomplish through subterfuge what our army could not, the recovery of the evidence we need, without unnecessary bloodshed. I am your lo loyal servant and friend, Kamea. I always have been, but I am also a Madeira, and I have a responsibility to protect Goldra from harm. You of all people should understand that. You need to let him do this. If I had the pr option of going back home and setting things right, I'd jump at the chance. Yes, I know that you would, as would I. I suppose that's what this war is all about. Very well, my old friend. You may go if you wish. Now you must... Uh, you know how I feel every time you insist on leading a combat mission. Not a good feeling, is it? Go, get us the leverage we need. We'll hold the line against the Torians for as long as we can. I know you will. We can win this, Kamea. We will win this. We all know what we need to do, so let's get to it. You heard the commander. Back to your stations, everyone. We've got a war to win. We're gonna need to do some mech repairs. Very minor mech repairs, must be said. Okay. Those buttons do not- are, are hesitant, you know? They're, they're hesitant to be pressed. I don't think we got anything too spectacular in the way of parts. Um, I might take a look at the Highlander to see if we can replace some bits. Although we have an LRM20++, so I don't know why. Maybe I I just thought we had an LRM15s on there. Um, I could replace the LRM15 plus on the King Crab, but I think it's doing well on there. So maybe I should have just taken SRMs. But we did get the SRM, so that's fine. Um, we'll take a quick look at... Uh, what is it? I guess it's the Battlemaster. Let's stop the work on the Battlemaster. And see if we can't replace something. I, I think I'm done with the Coil M. It is a nice experiment, but it's not proving to be uh, very usable. I know it's light. That's the only reason I've kept it on there as long as I have. The SRM6s are as light, though, so I think it would be worth just putting an another SRM6 on there. Why did it replace it? Oh, it's because it can only take one missile. Oops. Okay, well, we'll put that on there. Um, shucks, I didn't think of that, to be honest. We need to put a laser on there, specifically. 
PPC is obviously not going to do it. We could put another medium laser on there. Honestly, I think that that would be great. Another laser. Another medium laser. It's going to cut down on our heat. The coil M, how is it heat wise? Heat 50. Like we can't, we can't burn the coil M. It's just never really viable. Um, so sucks. Uh, for that, if we had a scout, like a zippy scout, it would be worth it. But other than that, it's not really going to do it. Um, one thing I wouldn't mind putting on here is this one of the, f this is one of the few mechs that doesn't have jump jets. I think it would actually be worth putting jump jets on here. We are going to put some more heat sinks on here. You know me, I love my heat sinks. Um, and I'm going to put like one jump jet on here. I know that like, is it worth it? Yeah, it kind of is. And even then, oh God damn it. I guess I'll have to take one heat sink off. Well, that didn't, what? That's weird. These are one ton each. And I put the jump jet back on. Can I put an, I can put another jump jet back on. Oh, um, hmm. Take one jump jet off and max the armor. I don't want the armor on the arms to be that weak. Okay, this is good. Thank you, phone, for your input. Oh, wait, cancel, repair. There we go. Now, now we're good. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Um, is anything using SRMs? I don't think so. I've kind of uh, migrated away from SRMs. Do we have any experience we could spend? Yes. Big Simple can get guts. Training complete. So I got an achievement for that, which is nice. I might uh, be able to max out Big Simple, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Decker doesn't have enough for that last gunnery. Glitch doesn't have enough for that last guts. Ready for orders. Mandrake wasn't on the mission. Medusa doesn't really have enough for much of anything. Service record. How much? What are we looking at? Deployments nine, mech kills eleven. How many mech kills does this big simple have? Forty-four. Injuries taken fourteen. Days with company nine hundred twenty-nine. All right. So we don't really have a mission right now. We can take a contract, but um, this is going to be the end of the episode. Um, we could take another basic mission we can't these i really wish that there was like any way to turn around our um pirate business but there isn't um i don't think oh we are at a black market place so what uh what, what kind of stuff do we have in this black market let's have a quick look here we got an archer an awesome centurion um oh stalker wow one stalker part is 10 million why is it so absurdly expensive uh we got some jump jets we have ammo but we don't have any like really good weapon that's just just the basic store though uh we have a fully built annihilator Which we can't afford, obviously. Um, we've got a, three battle master parts. I think I'd rather. I think I do want another annihilator. Oh, we have a cyclops parts. We don't have the ones that we need, though. We will never apparently have the ones that we need. <laughs> I don't know which annihilator I have, but it's not that one. I could buy two Zeus parts, but I don't think I really want a Zeus at this point. It's got okay movement. Ooh, the Victor has great movement. Um, but it's not great for weaponry. Like, the Victor would be something worth putting... It's, it can take two lasers. It, it could potentially be something worth putting the uh, coil in. 
but I don't really like want to do this necessarily. Why? Just a minor difference in like weapon loadouts. There's not really anything too special here. There is a gauze rifle plus plus, but I can't afford that. Um, plus three accuracy plus 50% crit. We have another PPC with plus four accuracy. That would be kind of nice. Ooh, there's a TTS energy. Um, yeah, I mean, that seems kind of decent. But like, is that really how I want to spend literally all my money? UAC plus, uh, two plus plus. It's kind of tempting. Oh, and it's light. Yeah, let's take that. It's kind of expensive, but I'll take that PPC plus plus. Let's do a little bit of uh, tinkering with our mechs. So the only thing that can take, I'll, I'm going to put the PPC plus plus on the awesome and now it's going to have three PPC plus pluses, which is nice. Um, I don't think that uh, anything, there's anything else. It's a kind of a shame. It's not an also a, a stability damage because then this thing could like basically just knock over max. Um, be nice, but uh, I like what we got going on with the awesome. If I see another one with stability damage, I'll definitely uh, trade up. Um, I think I want to put the... I have a room for uh, one more cannon on here. So I we could try and put the UAC on here. It would go here. Which is still going to put it five tons overweight. I could try taking off some uh, heat systems, but the thing is, is I'm also going to have to buy ammo for this thing, right? What kind of ammo does it take? Recoil effects. Um, mm, I don't know what kind of ammo it takes. I feel like it probably takes AC2. I guess I could check the store if there's like specifically UAC ammo. Doesn't look like it, so I think I just need AC2 ammo. New equipment available. This is going to put me pretty overweight. I don't know if I have heat issues. Let's see, 12, 24, that's uh, 36, 48, 56, 64, I think. 64 heat per round. I don't think even with everything turned on that I would have that much of a problem with, with heat. Um, I, I might have to cool down every once in a while, but I like I really don't think that it's going to be a big deal if I take a few heat sinks off. Um, and at this point, let's see what max armor looks like. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. Let's take off like two more heat sinks. Hmm. here there 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 we're slightly the problem is that like i'm gonna be always slightly wrong there we go i think that this works we're a little bit vulnerable from the from the back but hopefully we're never taking damage from the back the one thing i'm not a huge fan of is our legs i'm gonna take out one more heat sink Okay, this is better. Uh, well, we might run into heat problems. We'll see. But remember, um, 
Glitch rides in the Annihilator, and not only does she have very, very good recoil recovery, but she also has really good heat recovery. So this might be her perfect mech. I'm pretty happy with this. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Right. Giving her one more gun might really make the difference, especially a UAC. The thing is gonna is just gonna tear in armor. Um. All right. So that's gonna do it. I guess we're gonna take some basic contracts. I don't know where we're gonna do that. I might. Um. Well, I guess I can't travel around because then there's there might be events and stuff like that. We can make a loose plan for the next episode. Just to, we don't have to do too many uh, missions, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to to head somewhere. We could go back to Mechdur. Mechdur had some pretty decent stuff, um, but it might be a better idea to like I don't know head somewhere else with a uh, you know like we could fight for the Cap Capellan Confederation. I was making some ground with them. Uh, we could go to ward uh ward is three and a half stars maybe we want to go to like cavalar oh we travel restricted it looks like we can't go into capellan space bring them uh and yeah i basically always want to try and like go somewhere that has a a black market we could go here and fight for the magistracy of Canopus. They're enemies to pretty much all of our enemies, save for the Capellans. This seems like a good space to do some missions, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'll set a course, but uh, we'll be we'll be doing that on the next episode. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.